Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Dolls. As you see, we are in another place and you can see me. Exciting. <laughs> and it's Pride Month, June. <sighs> well, I know, it's a little bit late for that. But yeah, between uh, collaborations, commissions, my own projects, a lot of work, I finally did it, my Pride Month doll. I'm gonna try a new media that I bought, I'll let you see in the video. I'm gonna put also in the description box where you can buy it and you can also find there all of my materialized and of course if you like my video and if you're curious to see what I'm gonna do next don't forget to subscribe, like and share it. I have a lot of new ideas I have a lot of new collaborations that are coming. My other video that come in the end of July, it's a really, really special one. It's a really special collaboration and I'm giving you a spoiler. And, and we are coming again in the world of My Little Pony and this time with Rainbow Dash. She's a female Pegasus Pony and one of the main characters in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. She maintains the weather and clears the sky in Ponyville. As a huge fan of the Wonderbolt, she becomes a reservist member of the elite flying group is testing, testing, one, two, three, and a full member in Newbie Dash in a Sonic Rainbow Rarity and Princess Celestia both declarate that she is the best flyer in all of Equestria. I'm gonna use Rochelle from Monster High. As usual, I have to cut the hair really short. With my hair dryer, I'm gonna make the vinyl soft and take the head out of the body. And with my scuba driver and my tweezers, I will take the rest of the hair from the inside of the neck hole. With 100% acetone, I clean her face from all the paint of the factory marks. And it's time to cut the ears. I will cover the holes of the ears with some warbler that I will make it warm with my hot gun. I can mold it to the head really easily. And look the amazing colors that I have for her hair. I'm gonna prepare and I'm gonna paint the sculpt in red color, let it dry. After two or three hours of rerouting and with my trusty glue, I make sure that all of the hairs have glue inside and I let it dry for the night. It's time to send the body from the factory marks and then with nail polish without acetone because acetone will melt the plastic I will clean the body from all the dirty and the fat that he might have after the hair is dried, the glue inside it's time to protect him and attach him again to the body after three layers of Mr. Super Clear let it dry 30 minutes between the layers, I can start blushing her. I'm starting with the body and face with a blue, and when I achieve color that I desire, I start sketching the face.
In the final layer, I will give her a little touch with white acryl, diluted in a little bit of water to her sclera and her eyes, and I give her also the light eyes. And I protect everything with a layer of Mr. Super Clear and let it dry for 30 minutes. I look for inspiration in Pinterest and I found this amazing sketch from Rainbow Dash. First, I sketch the clothes pattern in a white paper, cut it, and I'm gonna use this uh, fake letter in a marine blue color that I'm gonna transfer the, my pattern and cut it the back side and the front side Now I'm gonna sew it by hand, first in the outside and then in the inside, and then between the legs. Of course, I have to print also in the 3D printer the iconic wings that I give to all of my collection of dolls from My Little Pony. And I painted in a blue marine acryl paint. I make a ponytail and I'm gonna finish him with this amazing glitter blue fake letter around it that I'm gonna glue with super glue I will attach the wings directly with some pins into her head in the meanwhile you notice that I put some glitters in her face. With some light denim I'm gonna make her jacket then I'm gonna decorate it with this rainbow elastic around it I also make her a top where I draw with fabric markers the symbol of rainbow dash and it's time for the eyelashes and as usual I'm gonna use doll eyelashes and tacky glue and the help of my tweezers and a pen I will put them in place there is a jacket it's cute I printed also the symbol of rainbow dash that I'm gonna glue it in the back side And in the front side, I'm gonna glue some pins with the colors of rainbow. I want to give her a head. I'm just giving a little detail with the same pins in the rainbow colors that I'm gonna glue it on it. and I will draw a little heart in the middle of them now I'm gonna give her a belt with the same glitter, fake letter in color blue and with this silver chain I'm gonna attach some bells
and then I will attach it to the shorts. For the shoes, I choose these uh, sneakers. They are from Frankie. A fashion pack. I'm gonna send them and give it three layers of white gesso to neutralize the dark colors. Look what I bought. Yes, this is the media that I was talking about. I bought paint marker acrylics from Avec. It's 20 pieces. I love the colors, so let's open up and see how they are in the inside. Oh God, they are beautiful. I'm gonna take the colors of the rainbow that I'm gonna use and see how they work. And I start with the marine blue in the sneakers and I'm telling you I'm loving it. It's much more easier, the color have a lot of opacity, I'm loving it. The red have an amazing opacity but the point of the marker is much more larger so it's difficult for the little details but I love the opacity and the simplicity of painting with acrylic markers I also like the green, the opacity, but the point is really, really thick for the small details. It's not good for that. So I have to squeeze a little bit to go inside of the holes and the yellow, the opacity is awful. I think I give it something like five layers. I didn't like the yellow but the white is also amazing the opacity is really good have a thin point where I can reach all of the details And when everything is dry and ready, I will finish the sneakers with a layer of high glossy varnish from Amsterdam. I found this radio in my stock box and I thought it's perfect for her rainbow dash. So I'm going to send it to prepare the surface for the acryl. And of course, I'm going to use the new acryl markers from Avec. in the same colors of the rainbow. I want to try my chrome powder. I scrub it really good with my sponge and then I protect him with a top coat of acryl varnish UV lamp that I'm gonna cure it with my UV lamp
and the rest of the radio I will protect it with resin, UV lamp and I cure it under the lamp for 90 seconds. With the Arteza vinyl sheets in white holograph color, I'm gonna give her some wings to her sneakers. And our rainbow dash is ready. I'll leave you with her and her friends. And this was my doll. I hope you like her. I love her. Rainbow Dash having a, a really special personality. What can I say about them? I will buy them again? I don't think so. But they are not bad. The problem that I, I get with them is that we're gonna pick up the orange that I used. Color orange. The opacity is not that good, you have to give it like four, five, six layers of it and you see that the point is really big, but they are perfect for a big surface that you want to make your art on it. I tried them on plastic, but maybe uh, they work better on paper uh, I don't know I didn't try on paper but for example the blue that I used I love that the point is a fine point also the little ones the black one the point is thin is good for details and that can help you making your work much uh, faster and much perfect did I give up on acryl markers? No, definitely not. I love the experience of having a marker, a pen in my hand instead of a pencil and it's much more easier. Probably I will buy a professional brand to try it. I'm gonna try this one on paper to see the result and depends on, on you also. Uh, what you think about it. Probably the next ones that I'm gonna uh, buy it, I would love to buy Polska. Really, I would love to buy them. But I don't know. Probably it will be from Arteza or something. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna look for it. And then I will let you know uh, what, I, what I found. I hope you liked my doll. I hope you like Rainbow Dash. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I have a lot of ideas. And I see you on my next video in the end of July. It's going to be very, very, very special. As I told you, it's going to be a big collaboration. And I see you there. Bye!